Hi everyone, so welcome to Technology and Society. I'm Lance Eaton. Uh, I know that I have the textual introduction, but I also wanted to just create this video and say welcome. So I'm super excited to be here and facilitating this course. Uh, I'll keep this short or as short as I can because uh, there's lots to learn and I really just want to say hi. So thing number one, more than anything else in this course, what I really want you to think about is how technology permeates our lives and is literally part of every aspect of our society. No, seriously, our learning environment, where you are right now, technology. The phone call you made on a landline to a friend, technology. The clothes that you're wearing, technology. Uh, even the written word can be considered technology. The human creature is the technological creature, and very rarely are we not something that were, or are we using something that was not human built or natural, or naturally occurs in the wild. So, yes, that's the definition I, I personally am working with. Technologies are human-made things that we have managed to fill all of our lives with, whether it's stone tablets or digital tablets, uh, castle walls or firewalls, written language or computer language. These are all human-made tools that we have created to render the world more sensible to us. Of course, that doesn't mean we succeed uh, in that or our technological creatures don't run astray accidentally or otherwise. Uh, still, when we think of technology, uh, we still want to make sure to move beyond this uh, good or bad paradigm that you may encounter in the news or in other online environments. Uh, it's more important to understand the ways, and it's always the ways, plural, that technology augments our relationships with each other and the world around us. Uh, so that was number one, which is really kind of the, the big idea of the course. So two is about you. Uh, this course is going to be what you get out of it. Without a doubt, there's a way you can put yourself on autopilot, you know, technolo a technology-oriented idea in itself, uh, and do the bare minimum to pass with a grade uh, that is acceptable to you. And I get that, and I'd be lying if I haven't done the same uh, with some of the courses in my own education. But I encourage you to do more than that. You're investing time and money in your education. If you want your education to be something more than the letter on a transcript, something that you want to help you move through the world, then you really need to push yourself to excel. You want to look at this course, heck, all of your courses, and constantly be thinking about how they can help you make sense of the world. That's something that students often miss. Uh, they think that the course itself should be self-evident. Uh, that is, the course should all, that, that is, it should always be obvious as to how this course in uh, how this course on this topic fits into your lives. But there's a problem with that thinking, in that as an educator, I can only craft this course to you personally, uh, or I can't craft this course to you personally, uh, and help you understand how it fits into your life because by the time you're in the course, I'm just starting to get to know you. See, I may be teaching the course, uh, but you're the expert on you in your life. If I'm lucky, I might get to know you a bit more by the end of the course, uh, but I still won't fully know you. Thus, I'm here to make the course, uh, the course idea is more comprehensible, but it ultimately is up to you to personalize them. And let's face it, a course on technology and society, you should definitely have ways of personalizing it, not just for your day-to-day -day life, but, your prefer but for your professional and social lives. Uh, there's, there's lots to consider, and I really hope you'll go that extra step of thinking about how this course fits into the giant tapestry that is your life. Okay, so item number two was more about you and this course. So number three, is about you and me. We have eight weeks together in this course and the primary ways in which I'll be engaging with you is through uh, course announcements, discussions, feedback, and of course any direct correspondence you send out to me. Uh, I'll also send occasional direct email to check in to see if uh, somewhere there might be you know some need for checking in, but those are largely the ways I'll be engaging. 
But, and it's a big but, we really should be engaging more than this. Really. Uh, I'll be holding office hours each week and I would encourage you to come by or to schedule a one-to-one -one meeting with me. Now, why? You know, what would we have to talk about? Well, you see, not enough instructors explain this, but office hours or invitations from the instructors to chat with us are about building connection, helping us learn about you and vice versa. It's an opportunity for you to ask questions or share thoughts about your learning that might not feel right bringing up in the course, uh, or there isn't a best place for it. Uh, it's also an opportunity just to get to know one another and how we as individuals connect through this course. Building connections with your instructors is not only a way to enhance your experience in any given course, uh, it's an opportunity to find mentorship, develop insight, and expand your network. Uh, when I look back at my own education, I've found that there are some instructors who were instrumental in my learning inside and outside the course, and some of whom have become lifelong friends later on. So please, I highly encourage you to reach out to me, to all of your instructors for that matter, uh, and build that bond with them. After all, in this wonderfully technological age, we can move beyond email and into video conferencing and other tools that allow us to more fully see and engage with one another. So those are my three points. One, we're creatures of technology. Explore that complexity. Two, you're the driver. You can take the shortcuts or you can travel the full distance. Three, get to know your instructor so your instructor can get to know you. All right, that's all I've got for now, uh, but there'll be more, of course, in the days to come. Be sure to get into the course uh, as soon as possible and get ready for the next eight weeks of learning. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you online.